Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Nasheed and I'll be teaching you how to paint like the group of seven. If you don't know who they are, that's fine. They're a Canadian landscape group of artists and they are known for their very distinct and stylized imagery. If you look at the images here, you could see that they don't paint exactly what they're seeing. Rather, they paint what the the landscape makes them feel. They exaggerate the forms to uh, really capture the essence of the landscape. Um, in that sense, they're very much like caricatures because you could tell what is happening in the scene. You could tell the time of day, and that's because they emphasize the colors and the figures in the foreground. Today, I'll be going over how to set up a palette and also how to emphasize the forms the way it did did using a simple tree. I hope you're excited. So, why don't we get this show on the road? The picture that I'll be teaching you how to draw, or I guess paint in the style, is this one right here. I picked this image because it is already very uh, stylized. The, well, the tree is very stylized. That's, that's what I'm going to be painting for you today. Um, and uh, I'll just go over a few tips that uh, might help you when trying to draw in this style. So, uh, as I showed you earlier, the group of seven emphasizes the lights and the darks and the shapes. So one thing that you can do is with a dark marker, uh, outline where all the highlights are to separate them from uh, the shadows. So I'll just do that really quick. So that's how it looks after uh, we've outlined it. As you can tell, it looks kind of cartoony, and that's totally fine. Now we're gonna start. The first thing that we wanna do is set up our palette. So I have the palette right here. We have uh, some yellows, a green, a red, a blue, and a white. And I picked these colors because those are the primary colors that I see in this image. The first thing that I'm gonna do is set up a wash. So this image is predominantly warm. So I'm going to wash the area where I'm going to paint the tree in uh, a purplish red. So what I'll do here is just dip my water, dip my brush in the water, sorry, and uh, take some red. I'm going to mix it with a little bit of this yellow. And what's important about a wash is that it separates the, the marks that you put on the canvas from uh, the background so you can see the tones and the values of the painting better. And finally, a little bit of blue to give it a nice purpley tinge. There we go. And that's everything. So now I'm just going to paint forgot to mix in some blue. So now I'm just gonna leave marks on the edge of the page where I'm gonna paint this tree. So just like so. As you can tell, uh, my page is taped down because I'll be working with a simple printer paper and uh, I don't want the page to wrinkle up too much on me. And after I remove the tape, it'll also give it a nice uh, border. So there we go. That's our simple wash. <clears throat> so what I'm gonna do next is just give, draw uh, an outline for the tree. And uh, you wanna do the outline using uh, the darkest color because uh, the group of seven, when they painted their darks, were painted first and then lights on top. So for the dark tones, I see them as uh, almost like a really dark red. So I got my red here. And uh, I'll add some blue. And 
and finally a little bit of green. Here we go. So now I have my shadow color. Now this is where you exaggerate the form. Here we go. So now we have our tree painted. I have to go in with some colors. So, um, over here, what I'm seeing, if I squint my eyes, is like an orange with a little bit of green in it. So that's what I'm gonna do. Orange that's more yellow centric. So that just means there's more yellow in this orange than red. So, next thing I'm gonna do is add some highlights because there's some, we wanna give a sense of lighting and direction. So I'm just gonna mix a little bit of white with the thing, the color we just made. And uh... So the highlight color that I mixed is a uh, very similar. I'm just adding a little bit more green because I noticed that not quite green enough. Next we'll do the branch right here and this is a very creamy tone. So I'll start out with white and it's again very orangish. So I'll add some of that yellow and a little bit of the red. So for that, it's like a dark brown. So I have some green, some blue, some red. It's purple, now it's yellow. It's still a little bit too green, so I'm gonna add a little bit more yellow. That's what we're looking for. Add some blue to that sh shadow color we mixed and some red. It's a nice purple. Sweet! Let's get to business. <clears throat> There you have it. That is my interpretation on how to paint like the group of seven. Thank you very much.